Twitch integration, Craigasm. Okay. I don't think there's anything we want to craft. I think we just wanted to pick up the bomb and go, yeah? We upgraded the big blessing. I got the... Because we beat Nori with the... We had a heaps of gold buffs. I had like 30k. So I got the big um, blessing deal. So the next peasant that comes through will start with a triple blessing. But we're starting with a double bounce. Which is a pretty good bonus. Now... I want to test this. Okay, I've got Rumble on and I hate it. But I've been told that... Um, um, secret walls... Get advertised. So we have to find a way to... Um, hit the hit the walls up before before um oh man I gotta turn that off that's so bad I'll turn it on if I think I'm gonna hit a secret wall oh, I should be bouncing okay because I don't think this should be a feature if it is oh it is oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That feedback should not be in the game, hey. It's even... Wait. It's rumbling at me there, though. You get anywhere near that? That shouldn't be. That should not be. I'll get under. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what was happening then is that um, the, the rumble was kicking in, which is kind of. I mean, gives a huge advantage to gamepad players. Cop that PC master race. Um, I oh, did it not screen shake. Do I have screen shake turned off? I don't. It is my canary. I didn't even see it. Was it? So was the screen shaking when I was testing for that? Um, Because if that's if that's the case, then then it's fine. Because at least there's an equality there. That's um higher chance to crit. Yep. And now we're gonna have to test this again. Hmm. No, I don't like it. I don't think there should be a... I mean... If there's a visual tell that there's a secret, I think that's fine, right? Because some of the rooms... There's a visual tell there now. Right? Which is there because an explosion went off in the room. And I love how the minimap disappears now in combat still happening. It's such a good... Hey, 
However, oh wait, turn rumble back on. Yeah. So no screen shake. Oh, you got burger picks? Nice. Can I turn screen shake back off? I do good things, I hate it. <laughs> I actively hate screen shake. No, not screen shake, rumble. I do actively hate screen shake as well. The screen shake in this game is so bad. Okay, so now sometimes you go into a room and the secret is, let's go with advertised. Telegraphed? I don't know, there's like a flashy, whatever you want to say. Uh, other times when a bomb goes off in a room, um, that then activates that um, indication that there's a secret. So sometimes you use a bomb because you need it for kill enemies. Or... Um, you decide there's enough rocks somewhere or maybe there's some key or a key behind some rocks you use a bomb and then you get that indicator that there's a secret and you're like oh do I use another bomb do I do something but like so now I sort of feel compelled I've got to, to put rumble on and now I want to now I'm going to hit the walls like any anyone can go over and hit the walls there's no sort of should I use a bomb to check type it like if, if that's the case, if all I have to do is go and hit the wall, why not just have the indicator up all the time? That's why I think it's a bug, not as intended. But yeah, if you add screen shake to it to see if it's in, you know, to make it equal, for either people that are playing mouse and keyboard without a controller, or plebs that don't have a rumble controller. Um, so can you even get a non-rumbling controller these days? Is that possible? Well, they've got a visual thing, though. Like, there is a visual um, for it. Like, you can see it here. That's the visual. It's got little stars. All right. Now, I don't think this was here. Can't be. Can't be one hundred percent certain. If the visual was on when we came into the room, but I threw my axe at the. There was a red barrel here that blew up. So if the visual's not there, when that red bar barrel destroys, it triggers the visual. All right. But let's say this is a room without a red barrel, and for whatever reason, this is a secret secret, not just a partial secret. Because some rooms you come into and the visual's already showing. And you're like, oh, there's a hidden room. Nice. But other ones, it's completely hidden. Uh, just being able to turn rumble on and walk around hitting the walls. What's the point then? Um, if it's just to reward people for doing like a silly job, like now I'm going to turn rumble on. I'm going to hit this wall. Nothing happens, good, because I don't have any bombs. Now I'm going to turn Rumble on because I don't like it. Now I have a bomb, but nothing happens, so there's no secret. Except now, I just realised, I have to turn Rumble on, and I have to hit this wall. Okay, no secret, turn Rumble off. If you hit... Oh, I see what you're saying. So if you go up and you hit the wall, instead of rumbling, just put the visual cue up. If that's the case, then what's the point of going up and hitting it? Just put the visual cue up in the first place. Because once the room's cleared, what's stopping you from going over and just hitting all the walls? Absolutely nothing, right? Okay, rumble on. Okay, so it's a very light rumble. So there was a secret room there. I, I think that's... It, it, I think that needs to be removed. Like... It, it, the fact that you can just walk around and check. Apprentice Tincture. Oh, that's a, I think it's a random heal. Have I got Rumble on? I don't have any bombs. But now I'm stopping and checking. Oh, there's a secret room there. I can't get to because I don't have bombs. And that I wouldn't have found because... Okay.
Yeah, it feels like, um... It definitely feels like a bug. A bug. Don't break my fish, Bobo. Yeah, have I got Rumble turned on? Do I just leave it on just so that I can, you know, hit every wall um, to check for secrets? Because that definitely um, gives a huge disadvantage. Uh, not huge. Gives a considerable disadvantage to mouse and keyboard players. And yeah, like activating a visual to do it I think it just promotes crappy gameplay hurry up oh okay flask effects last longer and we get a free potion as well um, so that's a coin and, uh, sorry, a key and bomb clock, which we probably won't use because we've got more keys. Although I could swap all my keys out for bombs and we could go check that out. We really go secret hunting. And I've got a double bounce that I haven't been using very well at all. Keyblade, please. Hey, there's a bomb. Wait. Oh, so the question is, do I turn Rumble on and check all of the? I'm not going to do that. I just can't be bothered. I'm not going to opti optimal play a game that is super fun. I don't even know if it is optimal play though, because it's so little bombs, you're just going around all the rooms hitting stuff. So many keys though. take an arrow to the face, is that what happened? <laughs> um, do you want to go to this store? Arrow to the knee? No, he was never an adventurer, he's always just been a brobo. Steak. 36 off steak, nice. Killing spoders with a bounce. Stupid spoders. That's a gold frenzy. A charge. Conductor. Well, we lightning every time we pick up a piece of gold. Zzz. rats the devs put a new pathing thing implemented but this rat is like 
They were clearly not going in the right way. I don't know if that's planned for the next patch, or if that's what they said they added for this one, but those rats were struggling. <laughs> My Clemming, yeah. There's a, um, Mrs. Pence has been playing this Lemmings mo on a mobile. It looks pretty good. We have really high health and there's fish there. I'm going to use this. Say I could have cooked that, but we're full health and I'm you know not too fast. Um there's a room below the shop too, so that could be Black Rabbit. Or a shrine. Oh, it's gonna be a shrine. key then to open that up and get rid of that. I think we do. We got heaps of keys. If we ever run out of keys we can just swap them with our bombs. There's also a curse removal and a popcorn. We don't need a popcorn. Take another bounce. What's the current? Okay, so we'll take the bounce and then we'll buy the curse removal and maybe we'll remove the food curse instead of the um, swing time. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Um, that's swing speed, that one we, we have now, which, whoops, shouldn't have done that, Pat, that was a misclick, a mispress. Um, Explodus. Man, if we can get like bottled lightning, it'd be amazing. Oh, sonic boom. I wonder if some of the relics are rare. Like if there's that sort of rating system on it. Oh, okay. That wasted bomb could come into play because Celts respawn since this is like a, the first run of a new game plus. Um. Nice. Okay, picked up another bomb. Stay. That's gonna heal for. Boys, break it up. Break it up. Come on. Oh, did I just kill them all? Oh man, I was hoping to hoping they could break that up. We'll go back and get the gold galoshes. I don't want galoshes.
First and then eat the food. Oh. Food before Bobo destroys it. It's a key mine, right? Like, it's ridiculous. Oh. I had um, one run, like, it seemed uh, before the early access launch, one of the runs I had, like, all the RNG was in bombs. Like, I bought, I think I bought two bombs from the upstairs shop and then came down and there was two bomb bags in one of the early rooms. And I was just getting bombs all run. Um, and I had like 20 something bombs and then I I got the I got a keyblade and I'm like, oh man, if only it had been a key run, and the next shop had an impish key potion, the one we've got. Um, so I swapped out like 22 bombs to be 22 keys and was doing plus 40 damage. It was just it was silly. Absolutely silly. And triple bounce is huge. Huge. Here we go. It's gonna be so easy to um okay come on don't say it's gonna be so easy to win it's gonna be a lot easier to um kill the ads now i almost want to left them out almost <laughs> i just tried that I, I, i've changed my mind i don't want to left them out I did actually say 250 damage there. Oh, I hit it away with my... Oh, that was bad.
don't fail the bomb this time, man, otherwise you might die. I'm out of bombs, dude, and I missed a couple. So we have to do the rest of this, um... Oh. I could actually die here because I screwed up. Or oh, I could use the tincture. I don't want to use the tincture. Placing a bomb. I think one of the bombs though, I placed it and then I threw the um I threw my axe for some reason and I hid it away. Good job, Pete. Now oh, we can go back and get that steak now too. Buy those. Is there steak anywhere else? I don't think there was. I think it was just that one. Uh, that potion continuously drops bombs when you drink it. It probably has a use, but not here. Right, and if we don't die, this is a really good um, build so far to beat um, Mortar. The new Zelda game. <gasps> Get him! Oh man, I think I only needed one more hit to get a blessing. Yeah, zero, it's, it's amazing. It's a must play. If you liked Isaac or Zelda or Stardew Valley mining, it's a must play. Yeah, imagine if you could just do Stardew Valley mining without the time restraints. You could just keep going dungeon delving. That would have been so cool. They should have implemented that. Um, okay, we might come back and get food. I'm not going to get Agus though. Okay, so we can remove here for only 50 health and we can get another food up. I don't know if I want another curse though. We'll check the rest of the dungeon first. Streets of Rogue. Uh, someone else was telling me about that. Unless it was also you. If you like your roguelikes, Zero, or anyone else for that matter, um, check out Dreamscaper. It has a free demo on Steam. Where can you go? Oh, look, we traded a key for a key. Um, I'm going to be playing it probably on either Wednesday or Friday. Ooh. 
saving bastards. You've never heard of Dreamscaper either, you should check it out. Um, we won't have any for this week, but when it, it's... I don't... Last time I checked, it was over 150% on the Kickstarter. But like I said, you're just checking out a free, a free demo version, like... Just do it, right? Um... So they're going for stretch goals on the Kickstarter at the moment? If, um, they've said they'll they'll have some keys for me to give away, not not for this week, but when they go early access and then when they release, if I like it, I wouldn't give away keys to a game I don't like. Oh, which reminds me, keys to the game give away a game I don't like. I've got a key for Slay the Spire I'll be giving away at some stage during the week. You know what, it's on sale and I don't want to ever run out of keys. Um, <laughs> Man, that so that that key that came out of the skeleton landed on the sign. I would have been absolute. Well, I, I was going to say furious, but gosh, bonus! Oh, they got me. Oh, it's a clapper as well. Look how fast we run with this. Um, Boom. It's the um, shield we have there. Every time you get a kill, it charges up. And with the spoders, uh, it charges up pretty quickly. Or paint, something like that. Okay, so you got to be really careful in this room. Um, oh, we just, like, for that reason... I just zapped myself. Um, we can't throw our axe. Because it the bounce gets you. Unless, in, in, unless they're all just turned off. triple bounce oh we didn't go back and oh I could have gone back and upstairs on the previous one and um, gotten an extra food bar that's okay or removed a curse for 50 hit points I'm kind of glad I didn't do that right about now Master pickaxe, fires projectiles at full health, which is kind of a waste actually now. I mean, it's good. You get excited, right? Um, but, like, when are we going to fire projectile? one of these two. Seriously? Oh. 
<laughs> I'll try to bomb for three bombs. Maybe I should go around hitting, hitting walls with my vibrator on. Take the bounce because Mortar's the next boss. That's absolutely devastating against Mortar. Um, however, I'm a little concerned with the current health situation, and that's a food, um, a, like a food does less healing curse. Although there is an achievement to doing a full cycle with one peasant. Um, So broken. It bounces back and forth between them as well, whereas I think Guidance can only hit the same one once. You know what I mean? Like, can only hit an enemy once. So, Bounce is just a little bit good if there's two guys. And Mortar has all those things. Like, it's got all the, he's got all the balls around him in his two arms. So, if you can get in a good position, you just. There's a rat stuck under those rocks. Ah, oh, he just got bounced on. That's where we need, we'd need the upgraded bombs to get to that shop, which has healing. All of a sudden now, the first time ever, I have a reason to upgrade the... <gasps> Bottled lightning. Chance to zap everything on a, on a hit. And our bounce hits a lot. So this is the first time we've had an actual reason to upgrade to Echo Blast bombs. Guidance can hit the same enemy multiple times, or only the original one? So fire um, gets stuff out of the walls for you. Oh, is it not going to get that one? Come on. Do it. Thank you. I'm not too keen on my lack of point. Oh, there's a store there. Good. It can be a shrine. We don't go for surely we don't go for a fifth bounce. We could go for gold though. I think I just want to pray there and um, get food. That is a sewing kit. Sewing kits keep the gold when you die, so it's automatic. What are we? We're on eighty percent gold integrity. So I think it's automatic. It's already worth its weight. It can hit the original one twice, yeah. But like, if you've only got two enemies, 
Oh, it only hits three anyway, doesn't it? So if you've only got two enemies, it's it's gonna. Um... Let's just remove this one and, and feed up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to hit any more shrines at all unless I get a curse removal potion or there's a thing on the f in the floor. Um, okay. Um, and if we do a full cycle with... We end up doing a full cycle with um, sewing kit. There's another bounce and another food there. The extra bounce isn't as good once we leave um, this set of dungeons, though. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Flying there. You're trying to do third in a row? Oh, but you lose the peasant each time though. Transmute carried relic? No. Yeah, I might my, my my skills aren't that great. Although I'm Holy dooly, man. I think that means we, we hit like six things now. That that gives you two bounces, right? So we're gonna hit yeah, we're gonna hit six things. Yep. Like the fight against mortar is gonna last about three seconds. All we need now is a sonic boom. I um it, it doesn't feel like the um When I, when I was playing, that's awesome. Just get wrecked. Um, when I was playing um, the Alpha, it didn't feel like the bosses got too much harder. Like they got to a point where um, you're just like, it, it just felt like the same cycle again. Yeah, what's my throw damage at the moment? 43. in one of the rooms. But I don't think I want to... But there's no way of removing a curse, so we probably won't chase it. One throw. If only I'd landed a throw coming into the room, hey. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chase that curse. I think I'm just gonna sit with what I've got and not be greedy. Uh, HP mushroom. That's pretty cool. All right, so we could bomb mortar, but I think if we just oh look how much free land there is on the left. Oh, that 
thing that went through me doing that. It's just... That was just <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Dude, like, that was just... That was ridiculously quick. Absolutely ridiculous. Now we could go pick up that curse, but I don't think it's gonna do anything for us. Um, to all the blessing and get a curse. I should have actually come in here first though and broken these vases, but they fancy two two seven. Uh this is undermine. It is amazing. Oh, the rebounds there. Um, one thing that is very cool, you can throw, um, you can bounce off a gargoyle that has gone back into statue form. Or you, apparently you can bounce off a gargoyle that's always been in statue form. Don't burn me. Oh, there's so much stuff around. Getting to Nori could be tough here. I think I want to use a bomb in this. Pilfers ripped us. <sighs> That's kind of funny though. But 